This is part 147 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the advantages and disadvantages of dynamic SQL and stored procedures. Let's understand the advantages and disadvantages from these aspects. First, let's look at separating database logic from business logic. Stored procedures allow us to keep database logic separate from the business logic. The benefit of keeping database logic separate from the business logic is that if there is an issue with the business logic, you know you only have to check the application code. On the other hand, if the issue is with the database logic, you only have to check and modify the stored procedure. Another added benefit here is that if you change the stored procedure, there is no need to compile your application code and deploy it. Just modify the stored procedure and you're done. You will lose this benefit if you are composing your dynamic SQL statements in client code as you will have to change the application code if there is a bug. Changing the application code requires compilation, build and deployment. Next, let's look at the advantages and disadvantages from network traffic standpoint. Stored procedures reduce network traffic as only the procedure name and a few parameters need to be sent over the network. With dynamic SQL, you'll have to send your entire SQL statement over the network. For example, if the dynamic SQL query is a complex one with 50 to 60 lines, imagine the increased network traffic between the client application and the database server. Next, SQL injection attacks. Stored procedures prevent SQL injection attacks. In general, dynamic SQL open doors for SQL injection attacks if not careful. However, even with dynamic SQL, we can prevent SQL injection attacks by using parameterized queries. In some cases, where you need to pass a table name or a column name as a parameter, it's not possible to use parameterized queries with dynamic SQL. Even in such cases, we can use quote name function to prevent SQL injection attacks. Cached Query Plan Reuse Stored procedures provide increased performance as cached query plans reusability increases. Even with dynamic SQL, if we use parameterized queries, cached query plan reusability increases, which in turn increases the performance. If you're not using parameterized queries, SQL Server auto-parameterization feature can automatically detect parameter values and create parameterized queries, which promotes query plan reusability and in turn performance. But one important thing to keep in mind is that, from a performance standpoint, OLTP queries benefit from cached query plan reuse. However, with OLAP systems, as your data drifts and optimizer choices change, OLAP queries benefit from unique plans. So query plan reuse may not be desirable in this case for performance. Maintenance. With static SQL in a stored procedure, a syntax error is reported immediately. So ease of writing is definitely one of the benefits of using a stored procedure. On the other hand, if you have dynamic SQL in the stored procedure and if there is a syntax error, you wouldn't know it until you run it. Stored procedures with static SQL are also easy to maintain as you can use SP depends procedure to check the dependencies on other SQL objects. For example, let's say you have a database with a lot of tables and you want to know if a certain table is referenced because you're considering changing or dropping that specific table. In this case, using SP depends will let us know if that specific table is referenced anywhere so we can make changes without breaking anything. On the other hand, if you're using dynamic SQL in a stored procedure or sending it from a client, you will lose this benefit. Let's look at a simple example of this now. Here we've got two procedures, my procedure 1 and my procedure 2. Within my procedure 1, we've got static SQL and within my procedure 2, we've got dynamic SQL. Notice both the procedures are dependent on employees table. And here is what we want to do. We want to drop this employees table, but before that we want to check if there are any other objects dependent on this employees table so we can make our changes without breaking anything. 
Now, one way to find dependencies is by using the system store procedure SP depends. So here we are checking if there are any dependencies on the employees table. And when we execute this, notice it only reports that my procedure one is dependent on employees table. But in our case, we know my procedure two is also dependent on employees table. But SQL Server is not able to report this dependency because we are using dynamic SQL. Finally, let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages from implementing flexible logic standpoint. Sometimes with stored procedures, it is hard to implement flexible logic compared with dynamic SQL. For example, let's say we want to implement a search stored procedure with 20 or more filters. This stored procedure can get complex. To make things worse, what if we want to specify conditions like AND, OR, etc. between these search filters? The procedure can get extremely large, complicated, and difficult to maintain. One way to reduce this complexity is by using dynamic SQL. Depending on for which search filters the user has provided the values on the search page, we build the WHERE clause dynamically at runtime, which can significantly reduce the complexity. Thank you for listening and have a great day.